said rebirth. It's, they tried to start start one in the area several years ago, and it never really got off the ground. Um, but it's it's started to, to to grow now, and I think um, there's a lot more people getting interested in it. And with the problems uh, with alcohol-related incidences now, it's it's a good thing. But this again is, is just getting it off the ground. Um, I've, I've been asked to sit in as chairman temporarily until somebody's uh, elected properly. Um, but it's, it's, it's a case of getting every, trying to get everybody in one place at the same time uh, and trying to address any issues that they have. Um, we, I do do, yeah. I'll be honest. I, I, I don't do too much during the week these days. Um, but I do get out. I do tend to get a lot of spare time, and I, I get out and meet people. But in general, would you say that in general, pubs and bars are safe places to be? Yes, they are. Um, and hopefully, by, by having the pub watch scheme run it up and running again, it'll keep them even safer. Just sitting here um, with the last, uh, Paul Adams, licensing officer for uh, Thorough Council, just trying to encourage this, this scheme along. Uh, I think it's going to be a very worthwhile scheme. Um, if you don't know what it's about, it's similar to sort of neighbourhood watch, and it, it, it's a pub watch. Works on similar similar things. If you play up in a pub, if you um, criminal damage, th things like things like that, you can get banned. But not only from that, that premises, but all the premises that sign up in Thurrock. They are, and th they'll, they'll lose it. All their mates will still go to, to that, that pub, um, but you won't be able to go to any pubs in the, in the borough. All, all those that have signed up for um, Thurrock Pub Watch.